What's up, Eternalists? It's your boy, Kaz, giving you a love it or leave it review of Deathloop. I'm about 35 hours in, and I gotta say, after I got over the initial hump of this game, which is a very intentional hump, I am loving every minute. So, it's Kaz from Midnight Lights Gaming. Give this video a thumbs up if it does anything for you. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, and you can also follow me at Midnight Lights. Let's go ahead and get into it. I know a lot of videos make you wait to the end to get the score. Not me. This got 9 out of 10 hearts. I absolutely love it. And to know exactly why, keep watching. But mostly, it's a visionary, fun game that takes all the best parts of many other games and brings them together. My first love it is this game style. It brings this 60s, fun, sort of old school technology style. The character style is amazing. It is unflinching and completely committed to this era, to this style, to this uh, genre. Of course, I'm. it also has an amazing sense of humor. Uh, at every moment, I was finding fun little things to do and see that were funny and fun. The combat has a sense of humor. It's just an immersive, fun game with an incredibly committed style that I just ate right up. I just totally ate it up. Of course, I'm also super happy always to see diversity in main characters and characters. My second love it is Juliana and Cole. Their banter, their uh, relationship, the way Juliana both helps us out but also is trying to kill us at every turn. It's just this incredibly fun thing that every moment I'm sort of like loving this. I can't wait for the next time the two of them talk throughout the entire game. My third love it for this game and the biggest one is this game's design which is brilliant. You wake up as Cole on a beach only to slowly find out in a very confusing what the hell is going on way that there are four times of day, four locations, and several different investigative strings for you to figure out how to kill eight Eternalists which is the key to getting off the island and you just the way Cole goes through it and figures things out, so do you. It can be a real slog early on because you're figuring everything out, but that's intentional. That's how it is for Cole too, but then you amass better weapons and experience and knowledge, and it's wonderful. While the design can be tough early on, and that is one of my leave it, give it a chance. Before you know it, you'll know everything about the Eon program, Eternalist, Reprise, you name it. Some games really exploration and puzzles just get in the way of the fun. For me with this game, my fourth love it is how exploration and solving things just enhances everything. The better you are, the more you do, the better weapons you have, the better trinkets, the better upgrades, the more fun you have the more you get to know the character. So every single thing you do to explore enhances your experience. In my reviews, I also like to give the middle of the ground stuff, the stuff that's good but not great. And for me, I call that the meh stuff. And that starts with the combat and player versus player. So let me be clear with player versus player. It's really fun. It can be really engaging. It's just that sometimes when you're having a great loop and someone comes in that's much better than you, it can be frustrating and me going into other people's games it just it didn't add a lot for me so that's why i was kind of up but at certain times it was hilarious and amazing there are a ton of great youtube videos about it now in terms of combat i had a lot of fun with the combat in this game it's so cheesy at times kind of and fun and funny but i just think that with ghost of tsushima and some of the Batman games and I think Sifu coming up soon, we know that there's this next level of combat that games can reach for and find. Um, that I just feel like there's nothing wrong with the combat. It, they took from other games and it's good and you can use your different skills and weapons in funny and amazing and fun ways, but I think there's another level of combat that has more style, more flow. Um, that just wasn't there in this game for me, which 
it, that's why it's a mutt. There are a lot of amazing things, and there are some stuff about the combat I'm like, yeah, I think this can be better. Now to the Leavitts, my first one is, you know, one of the geniuses of this game is that you feel like Cole. You wake up, you're like, what's going on? If you read something, you get some information. If you don't, you don't have that information. And that's an incredibly immersive experience. The thing that I struggled with, though, is early on I was, like, so confused. And the characters, no one except for Cole and Juliana felt even remotely engaging or, or did I understand everything so I just don't think there was enough hand holding you're just so lost there's so many different things early on and you're like wait what does what who am I that I know that that was intentional but there were definitely times early on it like I said it took about 10 to 20 hours before I was like wow this game is incredible those first 10 to 20 hours were a little tough you know in the game Hitman those assassinations are a big deal. For me, my second leave it is that, yeah, sometimes when I was killing a visionary, I just was like, okay, well, I guess that's done now. Who is that? Why is that person important? I just didn't have any relationship with them. It was all Cole and Juliana all the time. And so I really wish there was just some more hand-holding, some more opportunities for us to uh, engage with who the visionaries are and why they're important outside of reading one thing or exploring another thing or what little we get from cutscenes and conversations with Juliana. Obviously, obviously they knew that cutscenes were how we were going to tie things together and that if we didn't read anything, the cutscenes were going to be how we got to like immerse more deeply and, and make uh, dots connect and everything. But then it just sort of seems like they didn't do that much with cutscenes. They didn't actually give us everything. And, and that was a disappointment for me. At the end of the day, this game was incredible. I can't um, get more excited about Deathloop in a lot of ways. It got 9 out of 10 Love It stars for me. Once you get through that first section, this game is just so creative and fun with so much style. Again, I'm The Cause with Midnight Lights Gaming. If this video did anything for you, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter.